Okay, one type of ratio that seems to come up a lot on different tests is the connection between pounds and ounces. So this right here is a unit rate because it tells you what one unit or pound is in terms of ounces. Unit rates always relate something to one in some way. We could reverse this and say that one ounce, right, this is another unit rate, is equal or the same as one sixteenth of a pound. I just reversed these two ratios, right? Those are both unit rates. So now what we can, what we can do is ask questions like, well, how many pounds are in 48 ounces? And I might set up a ratio table or even just a list. So here, for every one pound, that's the same as 16 ounces. So if I have two pounds, right, that would mean I have what? Well, I'm doubling the pounds, and since the, uh, there are 16 ounces for each pound, I should also double the ounces. That's 32 ounces. And if I add another pound, right, every time I add a pound, I add, right, 16 more ounces, and I would get 48 ounces. And if someone was asking how many pounds are in 48 ounces, you could say there's three pounds. And the important thing is to notice the connection here that um, as you scale up this ratio, right, as you add pounds, you're also adding groups of ounces. And we could skip ahead. We could have just, instead of doing this in two steps, we could have realized that, okay, well, 16 ounces is one pound. If I want to know what 48 ounces is, I can set it up to say, okay, 48 divided by 16 is 3, which means three groups of 16 ounces go into 48 ounces, which means that we have 1 right, times 3 pounds. And that's our answer, 3 pounds. So, of course, we can look at it another way. We can say, all right, well, um, I can look across the ratio. To get from pounds to ounces, I multiply by 16, but to, to get from ounces to pounds, I divide by 16. So as soon as you're given an amount of ounces, you would know how many pounds you have simply by dividing by 16. So there's lots of ways to solve these problems, and I hope one of them works for you. Thanks.